Welcome back to Country Maintenance. Well, got reports of an AC turning off. It's nice and cold right now. Running good. But uh, let's take a look at the capacitors and the contactor and see what's going on here. So maybe something a little deeper. Okay, so checking things out here. Contactor looks okay. The capacitor is probably a 40 slash 5. They like to aim these the wrong way. You gotta pull the feeds off and get a reading on that. Gotta discharge the capacitor first. Okay. Capacitor holds a charge even after the power is disconnected. Yeah. So using the screwdriver, like holding only the insulated the handle fan. and bridging the leads between yeah. common and herm common. and common and fan. see any bulge on the capacitor, but we're going to check it here. And so we're going to set our meter to microfarads. And go common to herm. I already discharged the capacitor with my screwdriver. Common to Herm, we got 0 0.019, that's not good. Common to Fan, it's going to be back here. Also 0 0.019. So, that is a bad capacitor. getting 0 0.021 and 0 0.3.9 is what I got for the fan. So yeah, we got a bad capacitor. Okay. Pull my hard start kit here. Goodman, Goodman, Goodman. I think they think that that sticker is going to last and that you can shoot it, get your QWERTY code. Come back, you know, you really think that sticker is going to be there 10 years from now, 5 years from now? So there's our. 40 slash 5. Yep. And unfortunately, I don't think I have 40 slash 5 in the bag here. Look. These days, five. I like to write the 45 five. 40 slash 5 inside a 45 five. the area so with a sharpie. Okay. So the next person can see exactly what Contactor. is supposed to be on the unit. There's a couple different yeah. units. And Some of them use a, I can make one if I have to. The old ones is a 35 5. It's this one is a 40 slash 5. And Newer ones use a 45 five. 5. It's kind of annoying. They're all different. So I like to write okay. it inside the unit. That way kit. anybody that comes across it knows what they need. Now it's time to clean out my bag. And Go through it all. 35. Oh man, I might have to make one. Some water. Nice cooler. Palm Springs day. It helps. Yep, I'm going to have to make 
the, the lead. Got one here. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a 40 slash 5. Got a good crimper, so this will help. Um, gonna need to make a couple jumpers. A couple few, anyway. three jumpers all together. Yep. Gotta do what you gotta do. strippers I just always have an easier time with my Leatherman the, uh, point is to not lose strands So we're going to have to make our 35.5, well, we're going to make our 35 into a 40 slash 5, we're going to have to split the dual cap into single caps. Split this one. I think it's all going to seat pretty close anyway. Just going to be a little tight to strip the water.
wire crimp. And then one more through here. Okay. And now to make our 45 5 or 40 slash 5. So here's a 35. And what we're going to do is we're going to link these two just like this and move each side. Okay. So now we're going to make our jumper leads one to each side. And this is going to give us 40. that one there's that one and that's our 40 35 plus 5 and then we're going to go to the common side for our fan capacitor so it's going to go fan Okay. So, before I hooked up the fan, I should have showed you the 40. This just happens internally on the wheel. Okay, so here's our capacitor test. Now we're going one lead to each side. Common and Hearn. And we got 39.2. So that's within the 5% margin. So there's our Common and Hearn. And then here we're going to get our fan, which will be our 5 on this set. And again, it just makes its connection inside usually from the fan side to the common you just don't see it but the wire is inside or the connection is inside okay so now it's going to be mounting all this so i've got some cable straps cable ties and we're going to make this happen and get it done let's see if i can use the wiring inside wiring but the cable strap here. It should be on its biggest setting. So, let's see. Yeah, cable ones. I had some longer ones. And the longer ones have wandered. Well, we're going to have to make do. Okay. see what we can work out here. That's pretty good. That one there. Okay, we can put the hard start kit. Alright, 
front. Hard start kit's gonna go one lead to common, one lead to herm. And I'm gonna put the lead that has the double wire on the side there. Oh, this one, both sides have a double. So that's good. Okay. There's that. At least now our capacitor won't, doesn't move around on this position, so that's good. And now we're going to need to strap in our deals here. So here's one for the five. Put the fan. It's not much room there. Just enough to just enough to get that one in. And now I'm gonna strap this one here. That's gonna work good. Here's our other common. this wire over a little bit here. I don't like how close that is, but that's where I'm going to put the port. Here's our brown fan. That's going to go to our other side of the fan. And here's our last common. It's going to go there. Yeah, and then here's our yellow start wire. It's gonna go there, and now our unit's gonna work every time and do what it's supposed to do, because our microfarads are correct. Okay, and this one, I just don't like these to be too close, so I'm gonna move that over just a little bit. Move that over, and we're all set there. Okay, now I need to strap this in just to make that safe. That way it never falls on the next guy or anything. So, we just go through here. And through here. Very nice. Now these are the more common sizes that I have, so it's some advantage in doing it this way is that I always have parts for it, but you know, when possible it's better to go with the original same changing like for like, but this is how you could do it. And I'm just gonna peek at the contactor, make sure everything's good there. It's got this little dust cover over it, which in some ways is annoying. All the points, it looks brand new, so that's good. I feel better that we checked it. That thing's even all bent up, broken, so that ain't doing much. It's not critical for it to be there, but... dust out of there. Just the darn stickers holding it together. Just cover. 
Okay. Now we're ready to fire it up. Make sure everything starts up like it should. There we go. And now it's going to work every time, not intermittently like what it was doing. That looks like our cover will fit on there good. And I can get off of this roof. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. Good to go. Yeah.